Good morning dear students. I hope you all safe at home. Today we are going to study about chapter 2 physical quantities and measurement. Physical quantities and measurement. What is measurement? The determination of the size, quantity or capacity of an object. What is measurement? The determination of the size, quantity or capacity of an object. It involves comparison and the unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity of the same kind. The measurement involves comparison and unknown quantity with a known fixed quantity of same kind. So in the measurement it has two kinds unknown quantity and known fixed quantity. We need measure a range of things in our everyday life. We measure the quantity of ingredients required for making a particular dish. Similarly, a milkman measures the amount of milk to be poured out. Like that, a tailor measures you before stitching your clothes. So that we needed the measurement. Without measurement, we cannot measure the physical quantities. Next one is physical quantities. What is, mean, what is the meaning of physical quantity? Something that can be measured. Something that can be measured. Something means any things. For example, books, pencil, eraser, scale, table, chair, anything. Something that can be measured. What are the physical quantities? Length, mass, time and temperature. What are the physical quantities? Length mass, time and temperature. Measurements are always made using an instrument like rulers, balancers and clocks. To measure the length using the rulers. To measure mass using the balancers. To measure time using clocks. Okay. What is physical quantity? Something that can be measured is called physical quantity. What is measurement? The determination of the size, quantity or capacity of an object. Next one is unit. A fixed quantity used as a standard of measurement. A fixed quantity used as a standard of measurement is called a unit. When we say that the length of a pencil is equal to 15 centimeter. Here centimeter is the unit. 15 is the magnitude. Magnitude means it is the amount. Amount of things. So length of pencil is equal to 15 centimeter. Centimeter is the unit. Mag then uh, number 15 is the magnitude. That is the amount. What is unit? A fixed quantity. What is the fixed quantity? Unit. Centimeter. Centimeter is the fixed quantity. And then standard of measurement. 15 is the standard of measurement. So what is unit? A fixed quantity used as a standard unit of measurement. Next topic is find out what is wrong. Listen here. Three sentences are here. You should find what is wrong. Okay. My height is 1.5. What is missing here? Unit is missing. My height is 1.5. Without unit... We cannot say our height. Is it? So, my height is 1.5. What, uh, what is the unit of here? What is the unit? Meter. 1.5 meter. Next, the distance from Marthandam to Karingal, 7. What is the mistake here? The distance from Marthandam to Karingal, 7 kilometer. That is wrong sentence. Oh, so, you should write the unit here. 7 Kilometer. I bought three sugar from the shop. I bought three. What is the unit? Three kg sugar from the shop. Now you found the correct answer. Is it? My height is 1.5 meter. The distance from Marthandam to Karingal 7 kilometer. I bought three kg sugar the from the shop okay which are the topic we studied now measurement physical quantity and unit what is measurement 
the determination of the size, quantity or capacity of an object. Physical quantity. What is physical quantity? Something that can be measured. What are the, uh, say some few um, quantities, physical quantities? Length, mass, time and temperature. Next, unit. A fixed quantity used as a standard of measurement. Did you understand this topic? Listen here. They do not have any units. Listen. They do not have any units. Units prov provide uh, meaning to the magnitude of a physical quantities. Okay. So, you when you uh, count this quantity, size or anything, you should add the unit. Okay. Next one is, how much did you love today? Can you find it that? Can you measure your love and sadness? You cannot. Only physical quantities can be measured. Without physical quantities, that means mm, mm, f uh, laughing, happiness, sadness. Okay, these are the feelings. We cannot find it. Only the physical quantities can be measured. Next topic is need for standard units. Need for standard units. People in ancient times used units such as handspan, foot, cubit and face. Handspan, foot, cubit and face. What is the handspan? Handspan means from here, from this finger to this thumb. Okay, this the distance between what is called handspan. Next to cubit. Cubit means from here to, from elbow to fingers. Okay, these are the distance called Cubit. Then four from our leg. Okay. Only one leg. Then face means from one leg to next leg. These are the distance between called pace. These are the hand span, foot, cubit and face based on different body parts for measuring length. The length of body parts varies from person to person. Two person measuring the same length, that of a uh, using hand span may get different results. Why? One, one person is tall, another one person is short. So, when they are using the hand span, foot or cubit, the result will be different. Variation in results can also occur if different, in, uh, different peoples of the world Use different units for the measurement of the same physical quantity. For example, length can be measured in inches, meters and miles. These are the ancient people. Okay, people in ancient times, they measured to use inches, meters and miles. These are the units. Okay, these are the units. Similarly, mass can be measured in kilograms, pounds and quintals uh, in the length can be measured in inches meters and miles such variation in results we need to have some standard units okay in nine in 1790 a set of standard units called the metric system okay in 1790 this is the standard units called the metric system was introduced this system has one standard unit for the measurement of a particular physical quantity. For example, length is measured in meter, volume in liter and time in seconds. After many years, the general conference of weights and measures in 1960, in 1960 adopted the system as the international system of units international system of units that is called SI units it is used in most of the countries around the world what is the system international system of unit it is called SI units in which year 1960 next topic is SI units listen Using the SA, SA units, the following rules should be kept. Okay, kept in mind. The full form of a unit. First, top, 
first sentence is the full form of a unit named after a person is written in small letters. Example, Kelvin, Newton. These are the person's name. Okay, the full form. The full form of a unit named after a person is written in small letter. This is the first rule. Second rule is the symbol for a unit named after a person is written in capital letters. Example, K for Kelvin, capital N for Newton. Capital K for Kelvin, capital N for Newton. What is the second point? The symbol for a unit named after a person is written in capital letters. Next, third point is a symbol for a unit not named after a person in small letters. That is, example, meter or small letter. It will be start small letter, meter or M. A symbol for a unit not named after a person in small letter. That is, example, meter or M. What is the first point? The full form of a unit named after a person is written in small letters. Example, Kelvin or Newton. The symbol for a unit named after a person is written in capital letters. Example, capital K for Kelvin, capital N for Newton. A symbol for a unit not named after a person in small letters. Example, meter or M. Next rule is, the full stop is never put after the symbol for a unit. A full stop is never put after the symbol for a unit, except when it comes after end of the sentence. Next point, the full form of a unit is written in plural, but the symbol for a unit is never written in plural. Next point is, the full form of a unit is written in Plural, but the symbol for a unit is never written in plural. Example, 10 meters or 10 meter. If you write the word, you should add yes, 10 meters or 10 meter. Then what are the rules? You should write the SA units. The full form of a unit named after a person is written in small letters. Example, Kelvin or Newton. Second point is the symbol for a unit named after a person is written in capital letters. Example, capital K for Kelvin, capital N for Newton, capital W for what? Then third sentence is a symbol for a unit not named after a person in small letters. Example, meter or M. Fourth point is the full stop is never put after the symbol for a unit. Next point is the full form of a unit is written in plural. Example, 10 meters or 10 meter. In the last rule, the symbol for a unit is never written in plural. Only the word full form of unit is written in plural. But the symbol for a unit is never written in plural. Example, 10 meters or 10 meter but not 10 ms meters. Okay, today's portion is completed. Thank you students.